Hi everybody, I'm Mike Hardy and today I'm going to talk about HDR photography or high dynamic range photography. So stick around. Some of you may have heard of the term HDR photography, but I can guarantee that all of you have seen at least one HDR photograph in your lifetime. HDR photographs take your images to a whole new level, making them pop with color, detail, and surrealism. They're fantastic for capturing landscapes and other subjects with intricate details and textures like automobiles and other stills. When your camera takes a photo normally, it can only capture detail within a certain margin of light and shadow. If you lowered your exposure, you would get more detail in the light or highlights of your image. And if you raised your exposure, you would get more detail in the dark or the shadows of your image. The problem is, is that by gaining detail in one, you lose it in the other. That's where HDR is the perfect solution. HDR simply stands for High Dynamic Range, and it means to expand the range of detail that your camera normally captures. When making HDR photos, you're actually taking multiple images of the same subject matter, but at different exposures. I normally take three exposures, one low, one even, and the third is a high exposure. But you can take as many exposures as you like. That way, each exposure brings its own detail to different parts of the image. The low exposure gives me details in my highlights. The even exposed image gives me details in my midtones. And my high exposure gives me details in my shadows. Then, using some software, I merge all of my exposures into a single image and adjust its settings to what I find aesthetically pleasing. And presto, I have colorful, eye-popping HDR photos. That's it for HDR photos and photography. I hope you guys have learned something from it, and I hope you go out and take some high dynamic range images for yourself. I'm Michael Cardi. We'll see you next time.